morning guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellark. I get a lot of comments from people saying, well, you shoot really good, but you got all this trick ammo and you got trick guns and your this is trick and, and you get to practice all the time, which I do have all that advantages, but a lot of matches now, the NRA Greatest World uh, Championship, uh, the Treasure Con Challenge, I show up as a competitor and there's 12 different firearms on 12 different events. So what that puts a lot of pressure on me, I have to constantly cross train on all, everybody's equipment, H and K, FN, whatever, I have to know it, I have to understand it, and I gotta try to beat the other guy with stock equipment. So I always cross train. So today we're gonna go into a little cross training, guys. I got a couple of Glock pistols here. I got a third gen, uh, this is a Glock 17. I have a first generation 17 here. One has a trigger job, one is stock. So we're gonna change it up a little bit and make it harder. Go right into a cross training scenario where I have to shoot 60 rounds on target with two pistols, one in each hand. And I've got uh, a couple of 31 round mags loaded with 30 rounds on the bench here. So I'm gonna turn around and load them up and we're gonna make some noise. All right, 60 rounds under the finger. Here we go. What? <laughs> That's a little bit of cross training right there. Woo! Hey guys, give you an idea of what was going on there. That was 60 rounds downrange. From the first to the last shot was 5.33 one hundred. So if you do the math on that, that was a little bit under 18 hundredths of a second per shot per gun. And times two, that's 11 shots uh, per second. And if you do the math on that times 60, that would be mm, about 660 rounds a minute. So not bad out of two Glock pistols. Give you an idea of what we're doing here. This is a first gen Glock. I had it, this one has a trigger job and also has the high vis sights on it. I had it in my, my left hand because it's a little bit weaker. So the, the easier trick I wanted to put it in my weak hand. One thing I have to do when I cross train and I come across a platform like this is to understand what it does for the shooter. This has a totally different grip angle than a 1911 so it wants to shoot high. So you have to, you have, to have that tendency to want to muscle the muzzle down toward the target. Uh, this one else has a trigger job on it, probably about a three pound trigger. So it's got a nice trigger, got a nice set of sights on it. Pretty easy to shoot, so I had it in my left hand. And the right gun here was a Gen 3 Glock. It's got a stock trigger and stock sights. A little bit hard to see when you're looking over them like this shooting. So when I started that course of fire, this right-handed pistol started shooting to the left. I had some shots go off target. and also had a tendency to shoot high with it, going back to that American's grip angle got high on the right side of that steel, so I had to think about really what I wanted to see on both platforms at one time. So it's a good way to cross train, get out of your comfort zone, and burn a lot of ammo.